and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about ordering rational numbers. And in this particular video, I'll do fractions, decimals, and then percents. And uh, I've got these numbers, and we're going to order them from least to greatest. I have negative 4.3, 2.5, 3 fifths, 1.5.3, negative 2.5, and 25%. So you can follow these steps. First, write them in the same form, then list and order the negative numbers, then list and order the positive. And the reason we're doing the negative first is because we're going from least to greatest. So let's get started. Uh, the form, I think, is the easiest is just go ahead and convert them to a number with a decimal. So I'm going to do that. So negative 4.3, don't have to do much there, okay, 2.5, pretty easy. Now, how about the 3.5? Well, whenever you have a fraction, all you have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. So I'm going to 3 here, divide by 5. I'm going to put a decimal there. I'm going to make sure I put the decimal right on top. 5 goes into 3, 0 times, but 5 goes into 36, so it becomes 0.6. So 3 fifths is 0.6. I'm going to write 0.6. Then I have 1.5. And then 0.3. And how about negative 2.5? Now I'm going to convert it to a mixed fraction, and excuse me, an improper fraction, and then convert that to a decimal. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And it would be 5 over 2. And then to convert this to a decimal, again, Divide the numerator by the denominator, so it'll be uh, 5 divided by 2. Remember to move the decimal. 2 goes into 5 2 times. Um, I'm going to move this down right here. That's a little messy. Okay, so I have 5 divided by 2. Okay, let's see. Yes, I still have it on. Uh, make sure to put the decimal there. 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down the 1, 2 goes into 10, 5 times, so it becomes negative 2.5. So now I have negative 2.5. And then for 25%, to change a percent to a decimal, you divide by 100. Or you can just move the decimal two places to the left, so that becomes 0.25. Okay, so now I have my numbers. Now I need to, I have them in the same form. I now need to start converting them into, I mean, start listing them from least to greatest because they're in the same form. So I'm going to start the negative number. I have negative four-thirds. Remember, with negative numbers, the larger the number, the smaller it is. So I have negative four-thirds. Now I have negative 2.5. Okay, I'm going to put a check by this. And now I start with the positive numbers. I have point. 0.25 because 0.25 is smaller than 0.3, which is smaller than 0 0.6. 0 0.25, put a check, and then 0.3. Now I have 0 0.6, 1.5, 2.5. 0 0.6 is smaller. Then I have 1.5, and finally 2.5. So there they are, from least to greatest. I put them in the same form, which was a number with a decimal. Then I listed the negative first, and then listed from positive, listed the positive. So I hope that helps in ordering rational numbers. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.